Watch the frequency. Twenty-seven four one zero. Oh. Fifty-six ohms, no reactants. One four. Twenty-seven oh two five fifty-three ohms, one oh. Zero reactants. Twenty-eight one one fifty-three ohms, zero reactants. Let's go back here. Twenty-seven nine seven, still a one six. There's channel 40 right there, 1155 ohms. This is just a uh, starting out on it here. Just kind of getting the ballpark. It'll need to be fine tuned uh, once it gets to the fellow's house that's getting it. But you can see the antenna is extremely broad. And if you're wondering what we're looking at, it's a five element. Gump put this one together. Referred to as a OWA is the style of the beam. Joe the Grinder came up with these and him and Gump have been building them. A lot of us are running them. This is a five. Gump runs a six. I run a six. It's a big station in New Jersey that's about to be running a six. Uh, there's a few of these scattered throughout the country. Um, so he's going to start making a few of these. There's some interest people looking for good antennas that tune out over a, a wide uh, array of channels and uh, perform well too. Don't sacrifice any gain. There's a look at it. Now that box that you see hanging on the bottom of it, that's an interesting topic in itself. That's a 30KW Balin, Balin, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, and yes, they have been tested up to uh, 30,000 watts a carrier. Uh, not intermittently either, uh, regularly tested. Um, we've got a tuning jumper coming off of it here. And... Uh, that's what the antenna was tuned with. And uh, once this antenna is tuned with that jumper, you can put any length of coax on it that you want, believe that or not, uh, and the tune will not change. That's a whole nother topic we can get into, but coax lengths and all that. But uh, package deal, uh, this antenna sold, another one can be made. We've got a six we're going to be doing a video on. We're going to do three videos today. Video on this one, <clears throat> a video on a six element, and a, uh, we're going to look at Gump's antenna that's up in the air. And his antenna that's in the air was tuned with this uh, very piece of coax. And he's running seven eighths heliax, uh, a random amount, and his tune didn't change a bit. So somebody tells you you need to tune with this or that, whatever. Yeah, but uh, anyway, we'll get back to the antenna here. These antennas are going to come pre-marked. They're going to get assembled. Every antenna will be assembled out here where you're looking at this one at. And they're going to be pre-marked, pre-tuned. When they're shipped out to you, all you have to do is uh, put them back together to the marks. And if you assemble it to the marks, it should get you very close. It's a direct fed antenna. We'll come up here and give you a look at that. Get closer here. <clears throat> so your main feed line is going to come into the balin, balin. Come out of it. Go to your driven elements. The antenna is tuned with the driven elements. There's no matching device. This has nothing to do with this antenna being in tune. What this does is keep you from having common mode current. Now, I'm not going to take a jab at anybody that's building antennas out there, but uh, if you're wanting an antenna to handle serious power, 
and someone tells you that it's a direct feed, it'll handle anything you put into it, and they tell you you don't need one of these balance, in my opinion, you're being misled. Um, common mode current is a real thing. When you start getting into excessive amounts of power, and uh, it's something to be considered, and that ballon will prevent you from having common mode current issues. Common mode current can burn up your feed line. It will absolutely ruin your feed line, no matter what size coax you're running. If you have common mode current, you can be running two inch heliax and it will burn it up. It'll cause you to have interference, TVI interference, mess with your electronics, get into the electricity of your house, your neighbors, um, all sorts of issues. Now, you guys saw me down here the other day showing what a box at Gump had would do. And he's about a half a mile from a million dollar church and not much farther than that from a school. And he has no problems running one of these antennas. His is a six and this is a five. And somebody commented on that video and wanted to know how he gets away with doing that, how we run this kind of power and don't have interference issues. Well, a lot of it starts right here with this antenna. Um, and the, the feed line that's used and that ballon is extremely key in that. <laughs> Philly strand for the uh, boom support cable. Uh, Philly strand cable, that'll come with every antenna that's done up. Um, and I, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, showed you the tune on it. Tune is excellent. Uh, I don't know many antennas. And it'll get better than what it is. Um, believe that or not. You know, once it's tuned to where it's going, it'll it'll improve from where it's at. It'll it'll get even better. And that that tune on this antenna's most people would consider perfect. Um, but we'll show you Gumps here in a bit, and his is just as good, if not better, than that. It's up in the air on his tower. Give you a close up look at it going down through here. If anybody has any questions about these, let me know. Uh, you don't have to buy the ballon with it, although I highly recommend it. Um, I mean, just about, I wouldn't buy one without it, put it that way. And you can get a smaller one, you don't have to have a 30, 30kW one. But uh, I would recommend getting a ballon of some sort. Ballon, if I'm saying that incorrectly. But uh, like I said, everything will come pre-marked, and uh, all you gotta do is put it back together according to the markings. And uh, every antenna will be assembled and tuned before it leaves here. Tested, assembled, tuned, put on an analyzer, marked, and then it'll be shipped out to you. So you won't have to worry about getting an antenna that just had some random marks put on it that somebody hopes are close enough. It'll actually be a tuned antenna that's tested uh, just like anything else we sell. It'll be thoroughly tested before it gets to you. All right, guys, that's the uh, five element. We'll end this video. We're gonna throw a six element up here and the, the six element video probably won't be as long. Um, since I've already kind of went into everything, I'll keep it a lot more brief, but uh, we're going to do the six element, and then we'll take a look at Gump's antenna, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. See you, bye.